Welcome back and uh, thank you for watching. So in the previous episode I showed you a total mess down below and I've been working pretty hard um, last 24 hours. Finally my um, old batteries are out and I replaced them with uh, 850 amp uh, as a temporary solution until I get my lithium batteries. episode I'm gonna take you with me to the underwater sculpture park so stay tuned <laughs> so what are you going to do You're renewing your permit yes early enough at this time yeah because last time I did the uh, overstay my visa in Panama and now here in Granada my three months almost out and I'm gonna make sure to renew my visa before it runs out bueno, aquí, heading out to town yeah we gotta sort out some immigration document for my good <laughs> sailing solo friend Thomas gotta be honest first time sailing but it's nice like it nice, I'm gonna huh? get me a sailboat not so bad from hey. B free the manager of the B free bar at Chelsea Bay Thomas anything you wanna comment or express to the camera well I was not aware that my visa expired like a month ago <laughs> Shit happens. Shit happens. <laughs> Shit happens and then Juanjo steps in. Yeah. We got it. It's, we got you, Thomas. Yeah. We got you. <laughs> it's like for the same shelter place. Uh, Juan for all and all for, for one. For one. So, I mean, for the job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cut! Yeah. Luckily, everything is a bit easier here this time, as my visa is still valid. First, I had to renew my cruising permit and then Flora drove me to the immigration office. Some paperwork's here and my new three months visa was okay. Back in Panama some months ago, Juano helped me sort out my visa challenge and it ended all good, despite I had overstayed my visa for more than one month. And in Panama, I also met my Norwegian friend Magnus and his lovely wife, Lindsay. Great. You are actually Norwegian, not from that long distance from where I'm from. Very close, yeah. And as I was about to cross the Panama Canal to start my Pacific crossing, I did not expect to see Magnus again in a while. But Covid situation made me sail back to Martinique and later from Martinique south to Grenada for the hurricane season. That's where I met Lindsay and Magnus all over again. Hey Magnus, what are we doing? Hey, hey. <laughs> we're going diving today because we have not seen each other for months. It's gonna be awesome! And that's how sailing life can be sometimes. My change plans and Magnus and Lindsay's job opportunity gave us the blessing of seeing each other again. And this is the reason for why I'm so lucky to be invited out on a Lagoon 620 and do some scuba diving at the Sculpture Park. On our way out I spotted this gigantic catamaran. Rumors have it when this was built she was the biggest sailing catamaran in the world, belonging to Charles Bronson. I might remember this wrong though. The Lagoon 620 I'm going out with today is pretty big as well. And it's almost unreal I'm so lucky to have this experience. It's not very often I feel comfortable on a charter boat, but this time we have a Norwegian a captain! Hey. The captain on this boat. Yeah. yeah, somebody let this toy in my hands and I'm very thankful. What were they thinking? <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing boat. It's, a good, it's I a good place to work. I can't believe I'm actually with you on this boat here in Grenada. And last time I saw you was in Panama. Far down that way. Yeah. We had so much fun together in Panama 10 months ago. And I'm still feeling so blessed not only to be invited with my friends, but the fact that we are together again after such a long time. It's so weird that the Covid situation have changed so many people's lives and also schedules and plans. And who could know that the Covid time is the reason we meet again, here in Granada and not later in the Pacific. So how long have you been uh, captain on this boat? I've been running this boat just for a few months now. We ran it last year as well. We work on a rotational program, so we do six months out of the year. The other six months me and my wife cruise on our private boat. With Thomas, that is. 
And during the charter season, we, we run charters in the Grenadines and the Virgin Islands. And we have up to eight guests on board this boat. It's a 62 foot lagoon with uh, four guest cabins, all inclusive, private chef, private captain. And we uh, do tailored time in paradise. That's what we do here. That's amazing. And you have lots of toys on board as well. Yep. We have a beautiful sail pack. We have dive gear for everyone. We do dive charters as well. Uh, we have water scooters. We have a big tender with 70 horsepowers, a lot of toys, sub wings, wakeboards, knee boards, skis, tubes, and everything you can pull behind a tender. That's amazing. And I actually managed to try the, the water and the water yet. Fun, wasn't it? That was amazing. It was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Okay, so this is the VIP cabin? Yes, this is the VIP cabin aboard Maha Sattva. So on this cabin, you have both your own personal inside and outside exit through the stern here. You have ensuite heads, your own air conditioning control, TV, and all the amenities that you could ever want in paradise. That's amazing. Are you going to move on board? Lindsay is not only a badass in the galley, she is a very confident first mate as well. And I have been on board lots of boats and every time I'm together with Lindsay and Magnus, I'm impressed how smooth they cooperate together. If I had a wife like you, Magnus, I would be like 200 kilos. You would not be single. <laughs> It's just amazing how much space it is on board a catamaran. Seriously, this is a big yacht with her 62 feet. But the wide she offers gives entertainment area you normally only find in gigantic yachts. I would not mind being spoiled with sundowners and cocktails on this enormous flybridge with a launch area and even sunbeds in front. This is just out of this planet crazy luxury and the view from here reminds me we are here for some scuba diving. Even though it was tempting to just crash land and rest on this sunbed, as last night was pretty intense on board B3. I didn't even need to bring my own gear as this yacht is fully equipped. And even before I noticed, Magnus had set up all the tanks, ready to go in this submersible so platform that will send us slowly ready. down into this underwater world. I have already snorkeled here before, so I knew what to expect and could not wait to have the luxury of enjoying my favorite spot on Grenada, this time with a scuba tank on my back. came from one of the underwater sculpture parks. It was the first ever underwater sculpture park in the island of Grenada in the West Indies in the Southern Caribbean. Uh, it has over 75 sculptures and 800 square meters of space. Um, all the sculptures are depicted of different events in time and history. A lot of them represent different types of art. Um, a lot of them also represent different moments of freedom for the local people here of Grenada, um, for people of the world, and also for different movements within the world. So some of the best known sculptures that you'll see at Grenada's Underwater Sculpture Park is a ring of 26 children adjoined by their hands. Uh, they're dancing around in this ring and the ring speaks of both the unity of children and the ability for the resilience of children within this world. So they're all looking out from the ring, um, which they look out into the sea, into the nutrients of the sea, um, to represent their resilience and their ability to rebuild and move forward. It also speaks to the local Grenadian culture for all of the children and the locals that had been imprisoned or enslaved and having the opportunity to break free and bring this beautiful paradise forward to their children, empower them to move on in the world and make big things of themselves. 
you have other sculptures as well of uh, there's a man on a typewriter um, next to his typewriter there's a piece of newspaper from the 1970s which speaks to the Grenadian people about their liberation from Cuba back in the 70s um, just previous to them gaining their freedom and independence um, you have some sculptures of women and of local people there was some that were actually sculpted from local Grenadian students back in 2006 when the sculpture park itself was started. Um, it is all sculpted by a sculptor named Jason DeCares Taylor. And this gentleman, his sculptures are made all from concrete. They have a little bit of a texture to them to allow and promote the reef and coral polyps to grow on them. Uh, it offers a great opportunity for people to experience the Grenadian waters and for tourists to experience the local marine biodiversity that's offered here in the islands. It's home to many different species. You can find blue tangs and red snappers and all the beautiful coral fish, moray eels and octopus down there. Um, and it's just a really beautiful adventure that you can have here in Grenada. Yeah, we would love to see some of it. If you don't mind us uh, reposting it. I will. Three and a half knots. Unfortunately, we did not have much wind, but at least we could furl out this cool decorated sails, wing on wing. And uh, Lindsay, you actually work on this boat. I sure do. This is a 2018 Lagoon 620. I am the chef and first mate on board. My husband is the captain. Uh, we offer term charters here in the Caribbean. We take people to some of the most beautiful paradise locations that you can find and try to uncover all those hidden gems you've always dreamt about. Um, so we are fully inclusive. We offer all meals on board, all alcohol on board, and all of the adventure you could ever want. Amazing. And I've been so lucky being out with you today. Yes, it has been a pleasure having you on board. We've had a great adventure diving the sculpture parks and I'm sure we have much more adventures coming this evening. Amazing. Okay, so this is the galley of this amazing boat. Yes, this is our fully equipped galley on Maha Safa. We have wine chillers, we have ovens, we have microwaves, we have a full range stove top. Um, all the amenities, including my favorite, the KitchenAid, on board to make all the little delights you can imagine. And I'm a single-handed sailor and I was so lucky to have your lunch today and it was awesome! <laughs> we enjoy spoiling you. <laughs> yeah, it was just <laughs> unbelievable. You know, when you're a single-handed sailor, you don't have a chef on board, so this is amazing. Anytime. Mi casa su casa. <laughs> <laughs> It's always a pleasure to be around Lindsay and Magnus, so she should maybe be a bit careful as I would easily move on board for a week or two. To have the luxury to be guest on board this yacht, I have added the website in the description and also the booking site. I just want to point out this is not an ad and I'm not paid for this, as I'm only out with my friends. I also happen to know their amazing friendly boss and owner of this yacht that also has its own Instagram account. Back at Anchorage, not far from where Be Free is docked. After an amazing day out, doing things I love with lovely friends, I really enjoy being around. I think Lindsay and Magnus is the best team I know, observing how they calmly communicate with small hand signals and without any sound, just do everything perfect. Okay, Magnus, back to the... Back to the mothership. Yeah. We just visit some friends. Kind of turn off the generator, turn off a couple of the lights, and then head out for a drink with friends. So I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Um, now I have to get in the shower and uh, get changed because I'm invited to Christmas dinner at uh, Carl's boat here at the Anchorage. But first I would like to show you how it looks like down below now because last time, last video, I show you how chaos it was. But 24 hours, I sorted everything out and are now back to how I normally like to have it. Hey 
Hey Thomas, happy Christmas. Welcome happy, aboard. Happy Christmas. Thank you for inviting me. No worries at all. Oh man, uh, it smells amazing. Oh, what? it's gonna be so good. What are you cooking? Um, so I'm cooking a roast. Roast? Uh, so basically we're gonna have um, chicken breasts um, stuffed uh, in um, stuffing, breadcrumbs, herbs all mixed up, wrapped in bacon and roast it. And then we're gonna roast some potatoes, roast some carrots and make up some gravy. Man, be it. <laughs> you are so advanced. Right. I can't wait. <laughs> no worries, cool. Man. So this fun. is roasted chicken? Uh, roasted chicken, roasted potatoes, roasted carrots, hint of caramelization, be nice to give it a bit more, and um, yeah, and the stuffing, and we're all set, plenty of potatoes left there if you want them, and there's even another chicken. And we have red wine to go. Thank you all so much for watching and um, please subscribe if you haven't already and if you like this video I would be very happy to see a thumbs up as well. Take care, stay safe and be healthy. Singing